Doing this is probably the most dangerous and self-destructive thing that you can do on YouTube. I hope, I hope this doesn't come off as insensitive or, or, or whatever. I think Savannah and I have established that we're not going to order room service any, anymore. They have a breakfast buffet at this resort that's like a, a two minute walk that way. And we ordered room service and they told us it was going to take over 50 minutes to uh, get, the, get the same kind of food. Not that I'm complaining or anything, but I just... Today is the first day that we actually don't have to have to work, and because of that, naturally, it feels like it's the first day. All of our work commitments are done. I could, when I woke up today, I could feel the stress just... Out the way. Little update, we, I ordered the food at 7.45. It's currently 9.06 and it hasn't come. We're going to the, we're going to the buffet now. brought your, your camera to a tropical climate or dealt with any kind of humidity, you'll appreciate this. Lately, we've been um, we've been acclimating our cameras like hours before we have to take them out. And by acclimating, I mean putting them in this general area or that area. So they have plenty of time to like fog up and then slowly de- I did that with this camera. The first thing that I did when I woke up was I took this camera, put it right there. I'm looking at my YouTube analytics right now. All those shots, by the way, I used our new ND filters for our drone. It makes it a million times better. Uh, I'll put a link down below. They were kind of expensive. What they did to the, makes it a million times better. There'll be a link down below. I was looking at my YouTube analytics and my videos really didn't do very much yesterday, but this morning, all of those videos that didn't do, they just all got like a boost and they all started being recommended to people. And that got me thinking. Doing this is probably the most dangerous and self-destructive thing that you can do on YouTube. The YouTube analytics and the YouTube studio is a wonderful thing, but like everything, it has its its positives and it has its its negatives. And for me, whenever I whenever I obsess over the numbers that YouTube is currently giving me, that's when I start to really second guess myself and that's where I become less happy when I make videos. But the second that I forget about that stuff, magically, one, my videos do better, and two, uh, when you're not ruled and dominated by those numbers and every decision isn't influenced by those numbers, there's a certain freedom that comes with that and I think that you can enjoy and really use YouTube for what it was intended for, I believe. YouTube at its heart is a social media and video sharing website and I think if you approach it that way where you're just you're sharing your video ideas, you're sharing your perspectives, a really healthy and, uh, and, and fun thing to be a part of. But I think the second that you start letting numbers influence everything, everything about it, that's when it becomes less of like a creative like venture and more of a, a business kind of kind of thing. And there's nothing wrong with either. It's just found if I lean into embrace and embrace more of the creative side of things and less of the business, typically that works better for my my own like state of mind. And I think like I said before, I think the videos that I make are better when I have that as the focus and just making a good piece of art versus making something that uh, that'll make me make me money. We're, um, we're walking on the little pathway that I use to, to run back and forth on. It's not much, but it's, it's something. This isn't, this isn't our resort. We snuck into another resort because we like this one better, but uh, we didn't pay for this one. Or the people that paid for our room didn't pay for this one. So, uh, is that about right?
a little recon mission. Uh, we read somewhere online that people can run on this beach and there's no limitations to like how far you can go. I was under the impression that there was a certain point where there's a security guard because that's what's always been there. Uh, so we're, we're testing that theory out right now with a walk, right? So I apologize in advance for the wind noise. I'm shooting this all on my iPhone so with my big camera. Do you see that sign right there? That's the uh, that's the edge of where I thought I could go, and there's no security guard there. All right, I uh, I think it worked. If you see a clip of me getting drug off uh, to to like jail or something, then obviously it didn't work. But for now, that worked. I think we're, we're going, gonna go get dinner now. Uh, also, I'm using this uh, little shack thing as a trap pod to hold you up. You ready? I bet you didn't know there was more than one JC Penny. You got the normal JC Penny, like where you get to like your your, your appliances and clothing and stuff, and then JC Penny. <laughs> you wanna go to JC Penny number two?